Knoxville's Christmas parade wasn't the only parade going on tonight. Over in Gatlinburg, the Fantasy of Lights parade was stirring up some large crowds, encouraging everyone to get into the holiday spirit. WAT 6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown was there among the masses and has more now on all the festivities. It's back. The lights, the music, the magic. This decades-old tradition brings in people from all over the country. Cartersville, Georgia. Marion, Virginia. Virginia. Ohio. 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 We seen it online and we thought it would be something fun to do. We got seven kids with us, seven nieces and nephews, so we figured we'd just pile up and come down here. A parade so good, even the Grinch couldn't stay away. Obviously, there's a lot of Christmas spirit around here, and I'm kind of hoping to pick up on some of it. Some arrived hours before the start, saving a spot front and center of all the action. After last year's cancellation due to the weather, many first timers were eager to see all the Fantasy of Lights had to offer. I think just the celebration, the lights, the magicalness of Christmas time. Our little hometown, you know, they got some things, but it's like a 10 minute parade. That's about it. So, really, just looking forward to all the different things. This parade definitely had the things 80 entries, 10 bands, the Budweiser Clydesdale horses, and endless floats. But for some, it wasn't the fancy floats, the lights, or even the Clydesdale horses that made this event special. The energy of the people is amazing, you know, and just the friendliness and kindness that you get down here. You, you will never find this anywhere else. In Gatlinburg, Jordan Brown, WATE, six on your side. All right, Jordan, thank you very much. And hey, if you didn't make it out to tonight's Gatlinburg Parade, or if you want to watch it again, you'll be able to see it right here on WATE, six on your side at one o'clock on Christmas Day.